is Razman. And I'm in Malaysia, which is about 9,000 miles away from Madison, Wisconsin. Firstly, thank you for inviting me to talk at uh, Ionicon for this year in the, this uh, Lightning Talk series. And just would like to introduce myself. Uh, I've been a principal trainer for Atasawan, and I've been doing software development for the past 20 years. I'm a multi-award winning mobile app developer, uh, and my interests are in JavaScript-based technologies. Um, Ionic is one of my biggest passion, uh, passion Angular, Node.js, React, Svelte, and Express. Those are the things that I'm interested in. Right? And I've uh, trained people in Ionic for the past five years. Uh, my clients range from private companies, education institutions, as well as government departments. Um, Ionic is a great jumping off point. Uh, I've, I've trained people from complete beginner with zero knowledge to actually building an app in four days. And oftentimes, this was their first encounter with Ionic and Angular, all right? So that's a great thing that to, ha to have them feel proud to build an app in four days, right? From having uh, zero knowledge in this technology. And I just want to say thank you to my earlier supporters. Uh, before I go ahead, um, thank you to Simon uh, for all your assistance to me uh, and Ionic Academy. Um, I also like to say thank you to Matt Kramer uh, who, uh, from the Ionic team who assisted me in the early days uh, when I was doing uh, Ionic uh, training. yeah, um, And I just would like to sh have a big shout out to the uh, Malaysian Facebook community in Jom Web, uh, Jom Launch, Developer Kaki, as well as Programmers Awesome. So these are three big uh, uh, IT community over here in Malaysia. Okay, moving on. So why is Ionic great for beginners? Right, for one thing, if you are familiar with web or you know how the web works, you know HTML and JavaScript, it's already, you are halfway there already. It's very easy. Another thing is why Ionic is great for beginners is because it's pre-built, easy to use UI components. You don't have to worry about the cards, the buttons, and the navigation bars. Um, all of these are already pre-built for you. All you need to do is just use them. And I've uh, pre-built templates. Yeah, I still I'm still not sure why blank is not at the top and tabs is at the top. But then that's another issue altogether. But anyway, uh, pre-built templates is great for uh, Ionic developers because uh, you do if you want to build something with tabs or something with site menu or you want to build a blank app, it's very easy to build them with Ionic. And of course, one code base to rule them all. Okay, so you can have a, a PWA, an Android app or Xcode. Uh, or an uh, iOS app easily with Ionic, right? So uh, back in the day, uh, we have to set up some SDK, but today with Ionic Capacitor, you can have one code base and turn it into an, an uh, with Android Studio into an Android app, and uh, with uh, Xcode, you can turn it into an iOS app, right? So around about uh, 2019, um, Ionic introduced something new, which is Ionic uh, React, yeah? So React to me um, was a bit confusing because I was not familiar with React and I was I didn't understand how would this work how would how would doing React work but I was curious to know I wanted I'm curious to learn React but I wasn't sure how to use it and thankfully I'm not sure whether this is by design uh, whether this is intentional or unintentional by the Ionic team uh, the Angular blank template is exactly the same as the React blank template. So what I did was I used that as a Rosetta Stone of sorts. Yeah? So I'm quite familiar with Angular and I just want to understand how do I get into React and using it as a Rosetta Stone of sorts, I was able to understand, I was able to decipher uh, Angular and React, right? So Ionic UI components are great because of this, right? Ionic UI components in both Ionic Angular and React are pretty much the same. The way you use it, how it is, and how it looks like is exactly the same. So in this case, uh, I show you here, it's on on the left side is Ionic Angular and on the right side is Ionic React. On the left side, Ion, Ion Grid, for example, which is a quite popular um, uh, component, UI component from Ionic. That's how you call that with the dash in the middle, whereas in React, it's just the capital letters. And that's that's the only difference here. Same with Ion Button. 
right? So you have that dash in the middle, and over here on, uh, on React, it's just the capital capital letters, right? So I tested this out, right? So I wanted to learn uh, Ionic React and Ionic Angular, right? So what I did was I started uh, two different projects to see how this would work, and the result was this, right? Uh, over here, uh, I've built a, a Angular project with the ion grid in the middle with a row and column and the text this is a column within ion row within ion grid look mom i'm at ionic conf 2022 same thing on the left side which is the react right so this would result in the same exact looking ui which is that this is a column within an ion row within ion grid look mom i'm at ionic conf so just to break it down what is happening in these two codes on the left side in the red box that's the that's the header part right so if you notice it's exactly the same ion header ion toolbar ion title exactly the same and in the yellow box that's the grid right look inside the ion code inside on the left side on angular uh, where i call offset for size for and class ion text center on react side on the react side on the right side it's exactly the same right so this was great for me because uh, I understand Ionic Angular very well. And understanding Ionic Angular have helped me in understanding React, Ionic React. And this was something new and something great. And I can foresee that uh, for a complete beginner who want to learn how Ionic Angular and React works, doing this would be something of a benefit to them. Yeah, right. So Ionic UI components have made me understand React better. And to test that out, I've completely rebuilt my website, atasawan.net, um, with Ionic React. So that website right now is built with Ionic React. Before this, it was built with Ionic Angular 3.9, that was which is the, the older version of Ionic. But today, I've rebuilt, completely rebuilt it with uh, Ionic React, right? And thanks to Ionic, uh, I was able to understand. And I always believe that if you want to be good at something, you need to try it out with your own hands and try to build something with your own hands. So that's, that's been great, yeah? So basically, um, understanding Ionic React uh, was very important for me because I, I was really curious to learn about React. And uh, however, just a little bit of a caveat, just a small, small caveat, um, there are some differences uh, when using, when you want to develop between Ionic Angular and React. Um, for example, uh, React uses hooks uh, in its uh, use state, use effect, etc. While Angular, there is no such thing. Yeah, and obviously the TypeScript is a bit different um, between Angular and React. So those are just very minor differences. One last thing, I deal a lot with uh, beginners in, in my in my uh, training business, and uh, I have some ideas uh, for improvements. Uh, for uh, beginners and novices and how do we make something that is good as good as ionic better uh, the ionic dev app right so if it is at all possible for ionic to bring back the ionic dev app which is a great tool for beginners and novices it's great because um, i can't explain to you uh, the feeling for a beginner when you show a beginner uh, on the first day of class, usually what I do when there was the Ionic Dev app was I get them to uh, register with uh, the Ionic and then uh, they download the Dev app and then uh, on the first day itself, I showed them the app. That's your app on your phone, right? And you can see their face lit up and they want to know more and they want to learn more about Ionic. So that's my idea that I, I hope that uh, the Ionic team can consider. Uh, secondly, more official ionic integration so google maps uh, that was recently introduced i think about uh, a couple of weeks ago um, from um, the ionic conf where the, uh, the google maps integration was introduced which is this is a great start i believe an official google maps uh, api so i hope something uh, more that can come out of this so for example uh, firebase and uh, other back-end as a service uh, uh, solution could come out of this and finally, um, I'm in the training business, so I hope that the Ionic can see, can assist me and provide support for training centers 
um, officially official support for education, recognizing official education centers in my region, for example, for Ionic, and uh, increasing the number of Ion because this can help increasing the number of Ionic developers. We are starving for something like an Ionic solution in Malaysia, and uh, with Ionic, I believe uh, with um, uh, Ionic's official support, we can uh, do this. Yeah. So, finally, thank you. Or in my language, in Malay, I say terima kasih. Um, I can be approached by Twitter uh, at Razman S. And I, I always write about uh, Ionic on my Medium page, razmanes.medium.com and on uh, my official website, atasawan.net. So, thank you, terima kasih. And uh, on 